The perfect way to start a good morning of anime, I think, is by watching a manchu. Now, I know this review is late. I know it should come out on a Friday, but since Tokyo Ghoul came out yesterday, I didn't really have the time to sit down and talk about the series, or even watch it. And I just finished the episode of Amanchu, and first thing I gotta say is that this, this episode, ah, it's so relaxing. It's, it's super, super, super relaxing. The visuals to the characters, to the way the expressions are done. It's just it's something that puts a smile on my face. I can't really explain it, but when I watch this series, it just puts a smile on my face. And it's not a smile I instantly recognize. It's like not a smile I knew was even there. Like when I'm just watching the episode, I'm just unconsciously smiling because the episode is just that enjoyable. It's just that good of a series. Like the, how it starts off, it just has this very nice atmosphere about it. Seeing our main female character just smiling like something you would see from One Piece, and she's like all happy faced. It just puts a smile on your face. You're like, yo, this is this is cute. This is adorable. This is enjoyable. This is just this is why I watch anime. That that's that's exactly what this was see i love i love my anime that make me think i love my psychological anime i love my you know tragedy anime manga whatever i like all that type of stuff but sometimes i love series like this it's just it's a very nice breath of fresh air to be able to sit down and enjoy a relaxing series that isn't always just about action it isn't even really much about romance which most likely we're going to get romance since i have been confirmed that you know or it has been confirmed that this is going to be a yuri but at this time though just watching it it's just a series with slice of life and a girl that really cares about being a scuba diver and just the way she carries herself is just something you would love to see in real life like you would just love to be around a person like our main female character the way she constantly Constantly smiles because I mean think about it if you were around a person that smiled that much It was just that happy-go-lucky at sometimes it might be annoying But most likely you would love to hang around a person like that And that's exactly what this episode is doing just showing how her character could just draw you in and make you really just come to her level of happiness You're like yo, this is just it's so good. It's just it's so cute. So Let's talk about other things. So, the episode begins off with, you know, her waking up, getting ready, and she's just trying to figure out how she be can begin her day. And as she gets on the bus, you just see how she carries herself, the way she's just happy, smiling all the time. There's really no moment throughout her day to where she's really unhappy, which I do hope eventually down the road of Amanchu, we do see some form of depressing scene with her, because it would add some characterization and development for her, because if there's one thing I love about series, is seeing different sides of characters out of their natural environment and so far from what these two episodes have tried to do it showed that rmc she constantly has this happy brightness around her and i would love to see it one day in the, the future of the series if she gets like very depressed or sad or something or something happens like some form of drama and we get to see how she is naturally out of her normal atmosphere of being always happy hopefully that does happen so as she carries herself from her house to get to school, she takes an early morning walk, or I guess ride around the entirety of her town, and you see how she wants to take the scenic route. Now, I've done that in the past, too. I will admit, like, there's many times to where, you know, I could get to, like, this certain location I need to go in about maybe, like, 10 minutes, but instead I decided to take the route that could take 30 minutes just to see the scenic route. I mean, look, I'm in Tennessee, and when I'm driving or something, or if I can walk down a path or a hiking trail or something, I get there fast, sometimes I decide to take the scenic route because it's beautiful, just to see the wilderness the mountains whatever it just it's really nice to see and so i can definitely understand and relate to our main female character in this episode which you want to take the scenic route and just see the ocean and stuff i truly like that scene so we found out that the teacher is actually a diver as well she likes to dive and that that instantly makes me happy too so this lets us know that most likely the teacher is probably going to help out with club activities so this isn't probably going to be the last time we're going to see the teacher have a good central role in a manchu and i mean usually when it comes to like you know clubs and stuff in anime i've seen or different series you have it to where one teacher has to watch over a club i've seen it many times in other series and so i'm willing to bet that the teacher that we see the main focus of in the series of a manchu 
that's probably going to be the club supervisor, watching over the club and stuff, taking them to trips to go scuba diving. I'm just really excited to see this teacher more because the personality of the teacher is just so spunky. Such a cool teacher. Where was a teacher like that when I was in school? Well, actually, granted, I did have some cool teachers in my final couple years of my high school life. But, I mean, where's those type of teachers that would just sit there and try to do a race with you? Like, just, you know, going down the scenic route and all that, trying to get on a motorcycle to get ahead first like a race. It just, what type of teacher does that? And I wish I had teachers like that when I was going to school and stuff. Maybe some of you do. If you have any personal stories to share, please do so in the comments below. But yeah, I'm on you. A relaxing series, we get to see the other main character actually get to experience diving for the first time. Not actual scuba diving, but just getting into the suit, like a wetsuit, dry suit, and just chilling in the pool and realizing how much he does want to dive. So we already see the beginning of some form of romance building up, like this romantic Yuri romance, and I'm a big fan of it, I am. I mean, like I've said earlier on, there's not a lot of Yuri romance series out there, there really isn't, there really isn't, and it's been a long time since one came out, so I am looking forward to seeing how this series is handled, because it is a controversial topic, it definitely is, and I want to see how it is executed in Amanju. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below, you'll have a wonderful day, or night wherever you live, please be safe, Chibi out.